Elijah had actually started this ministry on the nation before Elisha came in. You remember? Israel as a nation, the people of God, the peculiar people of God, they have followed after Baal, Baal worship. And that's because of the marriage of Ahab, the marriage of the king. Actually, marriage matters a lot. If you are called to fulfill the will of God, to do the will of God, if you are not married yet, when you are going to marry, yes, so pray. But you also consider the person you are going to marry, will she accept the vision God has given you? The mandate God has given you? The commission God has given you? Or do you want to just get married for your flesh, for yourself? I want children. I want somebody that will be able to give back to many, many children. I bought your ministry. You want somebody that will accept your vision, align with your mission, support you and be with you so that your ministry will be carried out as God has ordained. And for those of us who have married already, you need to find out the thing that goes on between you and your spouse. Is your spouse helping you, leading you to go in the direction of the mandate the Lord has given you or she is always turning down always suppressing it, always supposing it always saying are we going to spend life like this, what's all this about and if that is the case you have to go on your knees and have the anointing in your home first, the anointing that will break every yoke that will destroy the works of the devil that will be able to know thank god a change can happen to Saul, and it becomes it becomes paul and a change can happen to you and you be the man you ought to be and a change can happen to your wife and she will be all she needs to be in jesus name and if your wife is not here, why don't you bring her tomorrow so that this same anointing on the man will be on the wife. And if you are here as a woman, as a wife, and your husband is not here, why don't you bring uh, him? Oh, uh, pastor, my husband is not a pastor. Well, is he not a professional? If he is a professional, my husband is not this, it's not that. Don't worry about that. Bring him to the presence of God, and something unimaginable will happen to him. And so, we settle the home, we settle the family, and then with that understanding and with what God has done, we can now go ahead, you will fulfill your ministry. Now,